Good morning. You want some coffee? No, thanks. Good morning, Bobby. All right, good morning. She's talking okay. to New York. Oh. Has the diaper service come yet? I don't know. Oh, I'll go. Oh, wait. wait. I'll go with you. Of course I'm here. here. All right. Anyway. I'll go ahead. So, Max did all of these already? Yeah, Frisco likes to change her. thinks it's a good experience, whether yeah. she's dirty or not. We'll see how soon that happens. Uh, where is Frisco? No, no, he got it very early this morning. Ah, that's because of dirty diapers. Men have a sick sense about it. Or is it six? I don't know. I'm going to go to one, two, or two, or one. Okay. Hey, girls, are there any messages from Dr. Frisco. Hardy? Oh, Steve, hey, hey, listen, thanks for meeting me on such short notice. Oh, well, your this. message said urgent. Is that yeah. a problem? Well, look, I, I need your help. It's my daughter. Sleep, Frisco. It'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Well, I feel a little silly. Sorry if I overreact. No, 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 not at all. Please feel free to call on me anytime, especially when it concerns Max. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> hey, I'll just go home and I'll talk this over with Felicia, okay? Not a bad idea. Okay. Actually, I'm uh, taking Lucas in for a checkup, and then I'm off to a meeting. You haven't heard from Frisco, have you? No. I think he's up to something. Why? Well, he's missed two feedings, and... Oh, hey. Steve, here he is. How are you Hi. doing? Where have you been? I've been worried about you. Oh, I just had a little, a little errand to run, that's all. Important business. What? Well, I've been looking all over town for the perfect place. For what? Know? You know, I, 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 every place I looked was too big, too small. The atmosphere was wrong. It's just, what are you talking about? It has to be special, you know? It has to be the perfect place. You can't do this just anywhere. For what? Chris and the baby. Oh, is that what you're talking about? Chris and the baby? Yeah. I think I found the perfect place. Where? To... The hospital chapel. Oh. You see, it's not too big. It's not too small. It's not too plain. It's not too fancy. It's, it's just right. right. <laughs> Huh? Well, I'm glad you're pleased with the place. Well, but... you got a problem with it? You don't like that idea? Well, I think we have plenty of time to worry about this later. No, we didn't. We didn't? No, I had to do this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we could never have this christening day after tomorrow. What? When? Day after tomorrow. Why? Well, you've got to get on top of these things as soon as possible. I mean, this baby has to be taken care of. I talked to Steve. Everything is all set at the hospital. No problem. No. We go in the morning. We have a party in the no. afternoon. you got to have a party. Well, of course we're going to have a party. But this takes time to figure out. It takes a while to plan all of this. Oh, she's right. You can't organize it that fast. People are out of town and they have to come. And one day's notice isn't very much time. Well, that's not a problem. Because all the people I love and care about are right here in Port Charles. Because I didn't see any point in waiting. That's all there is to it. But you didn't even talk to me about it. Well, there wasn't anything to discuss. I didn't want to bore you with the details. I just took care of everything. Well, from now on, bore me with the details. Next thing you know, he's going to play in college for our daughter. Mm -hmm. Not a bad idea. It's you always sure nice. there's not an ulterior motive here. I just wanted to get things done, that's all. Hello, Bobby. Where's the leg? Oh, good. Oh, Hey, you see? You see how that happens? I just want you to know that I know exactly what you're doing. You've created this little circus here so you can push everything out of the way, including your memories, right? Right. Good. One of these days, you're going to have to face it whether you like it or not. I don't have to face anything. Felicia, go home to our daughter, shall we?
Oh, uh, yes. Um, I I'd like to make a reservation on your, your first available flight to uh, Port Charles. Yes. Perfect. I appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, everything's going to work out fine. Sean's going to help me with everything here, babe. Don't worry about it. That's not the point. Who's with the baby right now? Don and Meg are. Oh, all right, Don and Meg. We need to talk. Honey, do you mind? I got uh, just a little bit of work to do here on this christening deal, okay? I know that you're excited about this christening. Oh, you bet I am. I'm worried about you. Sweetheart, don't worry about anything, all right? Sean and I are taking care of everything. I told you that. I think that you're wishing this because of your father. This has nothing to do with my... My father. I don't want to talk about that. I hate talking about that. See, that's exactly what I mean. You're running away from something. No, I'm not. Then how come every time I bring him up, you always clam Felicia, up? Felicia, please. You're hiding something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I am running or hiding from something. What is it? Look, the point is, is I realize it, you know? Tony said the same thing, so... But you're not telling me anything. Honey, there's nothing that you need to know, all right? All of that's in the past. It, it's over. This is what's important, right? The future. Your future and my future and our baby's future. 